Tonight, an in-depth look at the frantic moments after gunfire erupted during a Ramadan celebration in West Philadelphia that sent hundreds running, families separated, not knowing what was happening. This comes as Muslim leaders came together today to denounce the violence and sent a message to teenagers who are picking up the guns. CBS News Philadelphia's Ray Strickland with this story that's all new at 6. New surveillance video obtained by CBS News Philadelphia shows the terrifying moments inside the Philadelphia Masjid after a shooting at a nearby E celebration Wednesday ended in chaos. The video showing the fear as many were forced to take cover as shots rang out. It was traumatic. Farida Boyer says her niece was near where the shooting happened and says it took a while before family could find her. It was chaotic. It was chaotic. She's crying. Muslim leaders, along with city and state officials, held a news conference to denounce the violence, calling the traumatic event more reason to come together. So we are clear that this nonsense will not be tolerated. Muslim leaders say the day of the shooting will not be defined by the violence. April the 10th will always be remembered of the day of a miracle. Because it's a miracle today. That we still have all our loved ones with. Imam Kenneth Nordin made it clear that he and other Muslim leaders' top priority is to help the community heal moving forward despite the senseless violence. We're going to show our youth that we're not going to let teenagers run us in the house and make us afraid to go outside. <laughs> And city officials say there's going to be increased police patrols in this area of West Philadelphia to make sure people feel safe. We're also told there's going to be a community day in the park where the shooting happened so community members can continue to support one another. Reporting in West Philadelphia, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Philadelphia.